Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of our tutorial series. Today's tutorial will look at the slight changes you have to make to a pumpkin farm on the Xbox to the Bedrock Edition. Now, there are obviously slight changes to the Bedrock Edition's redstone that we're all used to, and that's because quasi-connectivity, the term used for a block being updated by something that shouldn't directly affect it, essentially is a known bug, which has been removed, which means we have to change a couple things. Now on the design over here, we obviously have the issue of this redstone repeater will not update the piston, these will not update these pistons, and essentially that is it. So what we've done here to adjust it is we've moved this out by a block, we've moved the redstone down by one, and we've also moved the redstone on this section back to this point here. This is still two ticks. We've added in a line of redstone repeaters here, and that is essentially so that you can activate the pistons. Otherwise, on the bedrock edition of the game, the pistons will not work. This completes this farm as fully automatic still, no matter what you do. I have not put in the minecart track underneath this one, but obviously use that trick for working out the fully automation. Put the slabs across the front or any full block you want to prevent anything from spilling out in the wrong place. But yeah, this should pretty much fix it. There's an overview from above so you guys can see. Obviously all the observer blocks are pointing into where these pumpkins and melons will grow. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed, and I guess I will see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.